Joining us today for Primetime Local News is Dawn Riley with Focus Society for Support Services. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today, Dawn. Thanks for having me. Of course, no problem, because we are speaking on the first annual Vermilion Street Jamboree. So this sounds very exciting. And, you know, even though the fact it's going to be the first annual one, that's really amazing. So starting off, tell us what this event is all about. So the event is actually a uh, fundraiser for Focus um, for all three of our programs. Um, we have one in Lloyd Minister and two that are based out of Vermilion. And we're actually doing it in conjunction with our public library in Vermilion and our class, uh, which is adult learning. They're taking care of the dinner that evening. And so we're going to share the proceeds from the night. Um, and so what it is is a shrimp and pasta dinner. Uh, that they are catering to, and a uh, live band, The Audibles from Edmonton are coming. A local musician, Adrian Levy, is also playing. And we're booking off a block on Main Street, and we're going to have a dance. And our Copper Cork Distillery is taking care of our spirits for the evening. So, and that's that's what we're doing. We're hoping to have nice weather and uh, enjoyable evening. So, yes, I was just going to say that hopefully there will be some nice yeah. weather, this kind of nice temperatures continue on, but we shall see. I'm really uh, hoping for you guys that you will get some nice weather. Now for this uh, event and this fundraiser, what really inspired the Focus Society for support services to want to come up with this and uh, think about this idea for a fundraiser? Um, Actually, we were discussing the fact that the um, Interact Club here several years ago at Dennis, a long table dinner on the street. And we just kind of built on the idea from that. Um, so we we just thought it'd be something different. We Our main streets get booked off a few times a year through the Chamber and the Good Life Institute. And they're very popular events and they do very well um, for attendance and stuff. So we kind of thought we'd try a dinner. And, and we did do um, a little timing on purpose because we have a... Our Art in the Park is the next day. So we have vendors coming for kind of an outdoor farmer's market. And our Legion has comedians the Saturday night, too. So there's lots going on in the community that weekend. So that was kind of why we picked the date. And early enough in harvest that we were hoping weather-wise, we would it would cooperate, too. So Yeah, no, that sounds really good. And I think a lot yeah. of people here in the border city will definitely, you know, take a trip out there and want to check this out. Sounds like it's going to yeah. be a fun-packed uh, kind of weekend and perfect timing. Now, for people that don't know the information, can we kind of expand on when it is, what time, and just... Yeah. Yeah, exactly it is. Um, so it's next Friday, starting at 5 p.m. Uh, dinner is at 6. Uh, band should, uh, the audible should be able to take the stage between 7.30 and 8, just kind of our goal. Um, Adrian is going to play before dinner and through dinner as our, our music that way. Um, and once the audibles uh, step up to the plate, we're, we're, it's hopefully just some fun dancing and hanging out and some community uh, fun. We have invited um, all of our local nonprofit and sports teams and kids groups to actually come and have info booths on the outside of the event. Um, just information kiosks of what kinds of things Vermilion offers through the winter and the spring um, and all our different uh, groups that are in the area too. So hopefully we people can get that chance to see them. So for people wanting to find some uh, more information, where can they look online? Okay, so you can go to our web page, which is focussociety.ca or uh, our Facebook page. Um, and it's shared all over the What's Happening in Vermilion page, um, What's Happening in the County of Vermilion River, um, or just email me um, or phone me. Um, I'm doing the ticket bookings so that if you have food allergies because it's pasta and shrimp, we make sure that those are covered and taken care of and, and everybody gets to enjoy their meal properly so perfect Don well this is really great I'm really glad we could speak yeah. with this uh you know a week ahead so people can have time to prepare and check yeah. out the information for the event and whatnot is there anything else you want to add on to that I may have missed out for the event and you want to let people know about uh well tickets are $60 a person uh but if you get a table of eight somebody gets to eat for free so we only did a table of eight for $420 versus four uh, 80. Awesome. Well, once again, thank you so much for joining us today, Dawn. It's been great. Yeah. And uh, I think you'll see some strong support. So thank you for joining us today. Well, thanks for having us. I appreciate that.